Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? Yeah, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal. <gasps> Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensor placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. And the vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. To me that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. your gun overboard slowly a woman show your face you men you're all the same who are you Nomads. Wanderers. I said to move. Americans. So you shoot women too? I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it.
hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our door to its conclusion! Scout night with a surprise. You are specs now. I think you deserve a little more credit. No one's ever dodged the shark of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. Snake, you're not the only one with a gun. If you don't take cover, you'll get hurt. Hide behind something. She may be hiding too, but you have a clear shot whenever she decides to attack. Use the first person view attack. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We share everything. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Thank <laughs> you. 
This ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Hey, Snake, you found a handgun. Yeah, it's a decent one. USP. The USP fires real bullets, not the knockout rounds the M9 uses. You know that, right? The USP isn't equipped with a suppressor, either. If you fire it when there are enemies nearby, they'll probably hear it. Keep that in mind. Having the USP will make combat easier, but being undetected is still the best way to go, okay? Snake, Metal Gear is in the holds below the tanker's deck. Go down! Snake, 
Don't let the enemy spot you. Once you've been discovered by a sentry, he'll call in reinforcements and there will be an attack. Even you're no match for that level of organized assault. They have better weapons too, remember? We aren't terrorists, okay? Avoid unnecessary confrontations and go for total stealth, all right? Snake, I know you're into high places, but do you think maybe you can head down into the hold sometime this year? You're here to take those photos of Metal Gear, remember? You have the thermal goggles equipped, huh? They provide night vision by using variances in heat distribution to create an image. It uses a two-dimensional solid-state projection system to create high-res images at 60 FPS in real time. By using the thermal goggles, you can take a look at the enemy's neck to see if they have dog tags or not. Using the old cardboard box trick, huh? Looks good on you, Snake. Camouflage is the best way to slip past enemy surveillance. But cardboard is just paper when it comes down to it. It won't withstand any serious assault for long. Don't rely on the trick too many times, either. And I recommend you keep it dry. Snake, do you want to save? The Chinese have a saying. Those who are lost never question a path, and a drowning man doubts not the shallows. And it means... means that you need to make use of other people's help. Otherwise, you could be in trouble. If you're lost, you don't even know whether a road you come across is a right one. And, uh, what's the difference between shallow and deep if you've already drowned, right? Anyway, 
The point is that help is always a good thing to accept. So make good use of the codec. Look, this stuff seems nothing like what Mei Ling used to talk about. Hey, she couldn't do better herself. Ugh.